In this experiment, we're going to be taking a look at the synthesis of esters, specifically of isoamyl or isopentyl acetate, also known as banana oil. So esters have a very pleasant odor to them. So ethyl butyrate and isobutyl propionate are responsible for a pineapple smell or the odor associated with rum, for example. Octyl acetate and methyl anthronylate are orange and grape odors. I have benzyl acetate and methyl butyrate, which are peaches and apples. And you have methyl salicylate, which is wintergreen, oil of wintergreen. And we have isoamyl acetate, which is our banana odor. So there's an interesting occurrence in nature. It's made naturally by the banana plant. It's also released by the honeybee when it stings. And it acts as a pheromone and causes more bees to gather and sting. And it's used as a flavoring agent in food. So juicy fruit or, for example, banana laffy taffy have very strong isoamyl acetate odors associated with them. Now, our reaction will take an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. And we're going to use a concentrated sulfuric acid. And again, it's a Fischer esterification reaction. It's reversible. We're going to make an ester. That ester is isoamyl acetate and water. The mechanism is just your generic Fischer esterification reaction. So we start off here with acetic acid protonated by our sulfuric acid to generate this um, resonance stabilized intermediate. Now that carbon with a positive charge in that last resonance structure there is what's going to get attacked by our alcohol which is our isoamyl alcohol abbreviated as an ROH here. That'll give us our protonated, um, really ester hydrate, that is then deprotonated to form your final ester hydrate. And then our last uh, point of business is to go ahead and have one of these OH groups leave as water and to reform our carbonyl. So we're gonna do a protonation, and then we're going to eliminate water here, and then we'll lose that H that's uh, part of our carbonyl to give us our final product, which is our ester.